Okay, so 1-7 is a pretty um, easy chapter. It's kind of, I mean, a pretty easy lesson. It's kind of review from stuff that you've kind of built on from second, third, and fourth grade. Really, it's just finding sums when you have to carry. You guys know how to carry over to the next place. And finding differences when you have to borrow. So this is a pretty easy one, 1-7. One this is the last one, and then next week will be our test. All right, so let's just look at a few examples. Um, we're just going to try, have you try and do, I'm gonna have you try and do them on the whiteboards and see where we run into snags. I don't think we will run into too many snags, so we're gonna do it really quickly because I want you to have all the time that you can get to start our review. So let's just do number seven. I want you just to do it on your whiteboard. There's no more whiteboards. Hmm. There should be plenty. I wonder if people accidentally put them into their locker. Well, Zari, why don't you grab a sheet of paper? You can just do it on paper pencil. I know, I'm sorry. I'll try to track down what happened to our whiteboards. Maybe some of them are being reclaimed. Okay, go ahead and grab a paper pencil. Here we go. This should not take you too long. I'll do it up here. You don't need to hold it up. We're gonna go through each of them, so it's fine. All right, this one's pretty quick and easy, simple. It's really basic subtraction, right? Seven minus four, Three. six minus four, seven minus four, six minus four. All right, we started super easy. We're gonna move fast through that one because that one is just way too simple for your brilliant minds. Let's go over to a more difficult one. Let's take one where we need to do some borrowing, okay? Uh, wow, they kept these really simple for you. Let's go over to here. Let's do number, ooh, I'm gonna give you a hard one. If you can do this one, you've got borrowing down. Let's take 4,000 minus 784. Try to do your work inside your head. If you um, kind of are somebody who does your work out loud, just try to keep it in your head so that you don't bug your neighbor. All right. We got to do some extreme borrowing with this one. You, no, you don't need to hold them up. We're going to go through each of these. Um, you don't need to hold them up. Finding the difference with having to borrow. Is anyone not finished? Okay, let's give you a couple more seconds. All right, put your whiteboards down. Look up here. I want everybody's eyes and ears this direction. All right, I don't want you to be drawing right now or writing on your boards right now. When you go to do the first one's place and you take zero minus four, can you take four away from zero? No. So you know the rule, you look to the left and see if you can borrow from the tens place. Is there anything here? No. Is there anything here? No. So you're going way over here and you're borrowing all the way from the thousands place. So the four changes to a? Three. And you put the one that you borrowed, or the 10 really that you borrowed more, over to here, right? So that's a 10 now, all right? Or you can just cross it out and say this is a 10 instead of a zero. Did that help our situation? No. Yeah. No, it didn't. We're still trying to do this over oh. here. So what do we need to do? We need to go over, we need to borrow from the 10, and the 10 becomes a? Nine. Nine, and we put the 10 right here, right? So this changes to a 10. Does that help our situation? No. 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 So we need to borrow from the 10, and it becomes a? Nine. Nine. Now this becomes a 10. Did that help our situation? Yes. Yes. Now can we take 10 minus four? Six. Six. Nine minus eight. Nine minus seven. And then the three comes down. So with these ones, this is what kind of our lesson, the hardest part of this lesson is you need to keep going all the way over to here and you need to borrow. And then you need to re-borrow and add it here and re-borrow and add it here until you get it over to the spot where you need 
what you borrowed. Let's try another one that's going to be like that. Let's try number 15. Let's try number 15 together. Can everyone see it or do I need to move it up a little bit? Here, let me move it up to there. All right. So we're doing number 15 right here. Work carefully and neatly. Messy math makes mistakes. So keep everything lined up nice and neat. And when you're crossing things out, keep it nice and neat. A lot of times with this lesson, it's simply either silly errors or just messy errors. Keep it always down. You never need to hold your boards up because I'll, I'll do the answer together with you. changed her five to a three. Uh, nope, you just do one at a time. So you change it to four and then that changes to a 10. And then you have to change that 10 to a nine. You borrow from that spot. So it's not three? Nope, you just borrow one at a time. First it's five changes to a four. Wait, okay, and then it changes to a three? No, never changed to a three. You're done with that one now. Now this is a 10, so you can borrow from the 10 to change it to a nine. You're not gonna go all the way back over to the hundred place. Why can't we go all the way back to, okay, so I did this nine, and then. Yeah, you can only borrow one spot over. So you can only go to here, and it can go right here and make that a 10, okay? Then you have to borrow from the 10 to make it a nine to go over here. You borrow one from that spot, one from that spot. I don't get it. Okay, all right, I'm gonna do it on the board. Follow along, and if you don't get something, you can um, raise your hand and pause me, and then I'll explain it. So let's look at this right here. We are going to take zero minus one. Can you do it? No. No, so you say, I have to borrow from my neighbor. You can only borrow from your immediate neighbor. I can't go over to here and borrow over to here. I can only borrow from the guy next to me. Does he have anything? No. He doesn't. I could go all the way over to here. But now I can't borrow from a guy two doors down. But this guy can borrow from here. So look, at, if I take one from here and this changes to a four, I borrow one. You only borrow one at a time. But, and he borrows it to this right here. Got it? Did that help me? Yeah. No, it didn't help me because I still need more over here. But I can go to my neighbor now because he borrowed from his neighbor. You can only borrow from your neighbor. Does that make sense? Yeah. I can't go say, oh, I'm going to change this to three and I'm going to borrow, or I'm going to change this to four and I'm going to bring it all the way over here. No, nope. I can borrow from him. If he doesn't have anything, then he needs to borrow from him. It comes over and then he needs to borrow from him. So now this 10 becomes a nine, nine and the one goes right there. So now I have 10 here. Got it? Does that make sense? Nine. 10 minus one is nine. Nine minus eight. Four minus seven. Can't do it. You can't do it. Where do I borrow from? The six. The six. He becomes a five. That becomes a 14. Now can I take 14 minus seven? Yes, seven. What about five minus eight? No. No, so who do I borrow from? The four. The four becomes a three, and now I have 15. 15 minus eight, that I can do. Seven. Can I take one minus, I'm sorry, yeah. Can I take three? Three minus two? Yes, one. One. Yes, and then seven comes down. Okay, I got a tough one I want to give you. Who got this one right? Raise your hand. Nice. Okay, I'm going to give you a really tough one. See if we Why? can stretch your brain even further. Huh? Let's watch you do this one right. Hmm, let me see. It is back here. If that one was hard for me, but it's going to be even harder. It's going to be even harder. This Here's what we're going to do. I found this one problem in your workbook, and I want you to try it. It is, I think it's in your homework. Mm, is it in the homework? Let me see. I can't remember if it's homework or morning work, but I saw it earlier. More practice. Oh, this is the answer key. We don't want that. We can't give you the answers. Did anyone see the answer? 
I saw them. Don't lie. You saw all of them and you memorized them instantly? Yes. yes. Perfect. That means everyone's going to get 100 on what I'm about to show you. Okay. Here's the one I want you to do. Let me make this as big as I can. Um, okay. It's right here. I want to see who is able to get number eight. Right here. Okay, let's have it totally quiet so everyone can be super neat and concentrate. Do this very neat. Like every number should have its own column so that there's no... Look at all those zeros. What in the world are we going to do? It's not okay. It's not okay. Okay. You got it. Just think, I'm borrowing from my neighbor. If I don't have any, then he, I'm gonna have to borrow from, my neighbor's gonna have to borrow from his neighbor so that I can borrow from him. You gotta keep going over and moving to the neighbor. And then the 10 becomes a nine, and then the zero becomes a 10, right? Time. If you can do this one, you can do every page, every problem on this page. All right, let's oh, correct it. Oh, no. You need a little more time? No, okay, time. I'll give you about 30 more seconds. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be hard. It's gonna be great. It's horrible. I, I feel like since you showed me the last one, now I know how to do it. Let me go down here with me. Okay, let's got about 15 more seconds to get? wrap it up, people. Looks like we have maybe almost everybody's done. This one, yeah. she thinks so. it's a six. Okay. Ten seconds. Nine. Oh no, what happened? Okay, do it together with me if you haven't finished. All right, look up on the board. I need every eye and ear up here for this problem. Every eye up here. I need all pencils down. Nobody writing or doodling. Thank you, thank you. Let me see your hands. Yes. Can you take two minus five? No. No. Okay, let's borrow from our neighbor. He can't. Let's borrow from his neighbor. No. Let's borrow from his neighbor. No. Let's borrow from his. Yes. yes. This guy becomes a zero. And the one gets moved to here that now we have 10. That doesn't help, so we need to borrow that one, and we move it, need to move it down the road a little bit further. This becomes a 10. We need to borrow from him. We take that one, and we move it to him. And we need to borrow from him, and finally it gets down the road to where it needs to be. 
12 minus 5 is 7. 9 minus 2 is 7. 9 minus 8 is 1. 9 minus 0 is 9. 0 minus 5. He needs to borrow from his neighbor. He can't. He needs to borrow from his neighbor. This becomes boys in the back. I'll wait until you're done with your conversation so that you can focus on your math. Okay, no pens, no pencils in your hand. Your eyes are up here, your ears are open. Thank you. Okay, you're borrowing from two, and that becomes what? I'm asking my boys in the back. Thank you very much. One, and where does the one that you borrowed go? Yes, but that didn't help him. That one, that 10 needs to turn to a nine and we need to take the one over to here where we need it. 10 minus five, nine minus zero, one minus zero, three minus zero. I got a convince. Stand up if you got this one right because this was a big doozy. Miss Van Zandt. I'm literally, I missed one number, I missed the six. Like, I got your first because I thought since it was two, I had to take away two from the, from the 10. Okay, raise your hand if you only got one of these digits wrong. Raise your hand. One digit wrong. Okay, good job. All right, let's have a seat. You guys did great with that. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to open up your workbook. Wait, one second, okay, and raise your hand and let me give everybody instructions and then I'll come help you. Okay, I would like you to open your book, your workbook. It's Friday, so we don't have any homework, but I really would like to know how well you understand the borrowing concept. So I want you to open up your book and I want you to do page 15, more practice. We already did number eight, so you can just copy that answer down. But I want you to do numbers. You already did this. I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong one. I want you to do page 16, the homework on page 16. Oh, what okay. 16, I want you to do one through eight. Okay. When you are finished, I want you to come up to my desk. I want us to correct it with my. Um, answer key here and I want to look at yours and see how well you're doing okay so go ahead and do it when you're finished come up to my desk we'll grade it together and take a look at how well you understand this last lesson in our chapter because next up is review and a chapter test